Okay, this is how you test a thermocoupler with a thermocoupler tester. Uh, thermocoupler testers are very cheap and inexpensive. I highly suggest you get one for your toolbox if you're ever messing with gas stuff a lot like I am. Uh, this is what a thermocoupler tester looks like. Um, you simply screw it on to the end of the thermocoupler. You press this button and if the button holds down that signifies that the thermocoupler is transferring heat correctly in the form of milliamps and it is working. So I'm simply going to thread this on. And you can see right now it is not holding position. It's because I did not heat it yet. Here is the end that I'm going to have to heat. You will need a lighter for this. Most thermocouplers will get up to temperature within 10 to 15 seconds. And you can see I pressed it. The valve stayed depressed. That means I have a working thermocoupler. Um, once this thing cools down, you should be able to watch this pop. So I'll leave the video running till it pops so you can see this thing release. Um, any second. This one's actually taking longer than normal. Hmm. <sighs> Did it already pop and maybe I didn't see it? <laughs> Give it a couple more seconds. The only problem with it taking this long is if your main gas burner was on and the flame blew out, it would be, uh, there it went. But that whole uh, 30, 40 seconds right there, it would have been releasing raw gas into the system with no pilot being present. That was a very bad scenario.